What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Nerdzoic. My name's Matt, and I have a bit of a different episode for you today. Last Saturday, August the 15th, I went to the Toys for the Ages Expo at the Carlisle Expo Center, and it was my first convention of the uh, Accursed 2020. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a tour of the convention, and I'll show you everything that I saw throughout the day. There was some really cool old stuff there. There was some pretty good deals. I bought a couple things. My brother bought a couple things. I'll show them to you. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a grand old time. We'll start with the big one, the USS flag there as soon as we went in. I haven't seen that thing in person in probably 20 years. There was a really nice selection of stuff, both modern and vintage. Right now you're looking at the Eternia Toys and Collectibles booth. They had some great stuff. I was really impressed. I was hoping to be able to interview some of the owners, but the audio was awful, hence why I'm doing the voiceover. But I was just, uh, maybe it's like con fatigue, like I didn't have enough con, so reverse con fatigue, but I needed this so bad. It was so nice to go out and see all these toys, to see all this stuff, to have all that FOMO, wanting to buy everything. Oh, it was great. So I'd say that the most amount of merch at the show is probably He-Man. There was also a ton of G.I. Joe. All right, He-Man and G.I. Joe were tied. Star Wars was a distant third, then you get into Turtles, wrestling, and the like. So much cool stuff. Like I said, and like I showed you at the beginning, the USS flag, they also had the Eternia playset here, which I've never seen in person. Oh man, I think they were selling it for like $3,500. So yeah, if I ever win the lottery and have a museum of toys, maybe I can do that. What I wanted to do with this video is just take you on a tour and show you some of the stuff I saw. So I picked out some sweet music for you, and I'm gonna do some voiceovers here and there whenever I feel like it's fit based on what we're saying. Right there, boom. There's the music tour NECA turtles. I'm gonna start right there. How about these NECA turtles? You're gonna see them a lot throughout this video. You know, the ones we can't find anywhere. Well, I think I found who bought them all. Marked up almost double. Boom, right there. Power Rangers signed. John bought those. I'll point that out right now. He bought them. They're signed by the original Blue Ranger or original Red Ranger. That was his big purchase of the day. But yeah, back to the turtles. You're going to see a lot of them. I almost bought the rock and roll one. It was 200. I think it was 150 originally. So it would only have been a 50%, like a whatever, 25% markup. I don't know. I don't math. But uh, I couldn't do it just on principle because of how bad that went. Lots of black series, which of course everybody loves. Some of it even fairly priced. You're about to see something I bought right there. That's a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Minoc Hunt black series. I have never seen that in person. $60, which was a little high, but when you factor in the fact that I didn't have to pay shipping, I thought it was a good value. Here you see a lot of the Power of the Force stuff which is still so cheap. And some of the end of the Power of the Force, they made some really good figures. I thought about buying some of them actually, just to open up to play with the boy. Cause you can pick up loose Power of the Force figures for a couple of dollars, like change basically. Lots of Marvel Legends, lots of good prices on Marvel Legends. They had a bunch of Builder figures. You'll see them throughout. Just lots of cool stuff. On solo stockings, you never know when you're going to need one of them. You know, the thought that's probably on everybody's mind was how did social distancing work? And the answer is pretty good. They tried. They only failed to 25% capacity. They had the line set so you could only go one way. Oh, wow. Right there, by the way, that is the original Ghostbusters uh, fire station. But back to the capacity. So 25%, everybody I saw was wearing a mask and they were actually wearing them correctly. Everyone tried to keep their distance. So overall, pretty good. I think it just shows we can do these types of things if we do them carefully. That booth had just a gigantic selection of LJNs loose. They also put up later in the day, I don't know if I'm gonna show it, maybe here, no, there's that Rancor again. 
but they show uh, they had the Macho Man Slim Jim San Diego Comic Con for 115. I couldn't pull the trigger at a four, almost four time markup, but man, I want that figure. He is gorgeous. I almost pulled the trigger on some turtles too. Well, that guy's creepy. It was interesting seeing all the old vintage Spider-Man and then they had a lot of the new Marvel Legends Spider-Man vintage cards. It was actually, it made me do a double take. I'm like, hey, which one's the right one? So there's the new ones versus the old ones. Kind of same with the Ghostbusters. Like it was like, okay, are these in really good condition or are they the, the reproductions? Of course, with like a close look, you could tell the difference. But from a distance, it was like, oh my God, those are in great shape. Oh, they're new. Bunch of carded Star Wars here. Vintage and vintage collection mixed together. Some of the prices just made you go, what, raw? You're about to see a Han Solo that'll make you choke on your breakfast if you're watching this in the morning. Show it. Show it. Go up. Okay, well, in a second. There's there's Han. $1,200. Boom. So, yeah, lots of cool stuff. There's a second or the first Power of the Force. Just awesomeness. For a guy who goes to cons often... This is uh, the first one in a year. This felt so good. So, so good. There was that neck of Bret Hart. I still don't have that. They had so many, but I wasn't ready to buy it. Arena set. I'm telling you, that actually looks delicious. Any of you guys found a new He-Man at Walmart yet? They look pretty cool. I'm, I'm tempted to get in on them. There's another firehouse. We're about to see my second purchase of the day here in a minute, I believe. Oh, Princess of Power. That's not the purchase, folks. I promise. Doing this voiceover style is kind of weird. I feel like John Madden. Turtle Sewer, only $285 for it to be complete. That's pretty good. And there's my second purchase. If you saw my The Toys That Made Me video, you'll know that that is a figure my dad bought me one day on a break from his diner, and I used the grappling hook to make him fly across a steam table and into the mashed potatoes. 35 bucks for the uh, Captain Afra's Astro Droids, not bad. Or is that 40? I don't remember. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this. Like I said, I bought that Batman and the Minoc hunt and a t-shirt, of course. John picked up the autographed versions of the Red and Blue Ranger. So we managed to somehow, between the two of us, spend a couple hundred dollars. He paid one twenty for those two toy for those two autographed toys, which was really good. They had them marked at one fifty, I believe. I ended up paying fifteen for the Batman, sixty for the Minoc hunt. Overall, it was a good day. Until next time, my friends. Be cool and stay nerdy.